story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Hey, what's my friends? It's me, Gina, and in this video, I am finally, finally, I know I'm late, like real, 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 real late to this train. Going to be trying out some African Pride products. I've already tried their heat activating mask, but I'm going to be trying their stylers. A lot of you guys have been raving about African Pride stylers, so I figured this would be something that I try. Brought, of course, I brought this with my own money, so I didn't want to get the full line like the shampoo. Um, I think they have a pre-shampoo. I know I, I heard the pre-shampoo was bomb. I do believe you guys. But right now, I am trying to get rid of products. So I just wanted to get the products that I think people are like the most, most interested in, at least when it comes to my channel, and that is styling products. So I have their leave-in cream as well as their core moisture and define curling cream. Um, I've already washed and conditioned my hair. I will put the products that I use to wash and condition my hair down in the description box below in case you got that you are curious about that. And I'm just going to apply this leave-in product first. I think I still have a little deep conditioner left on my hair, but that is all fine. So I'm first just going to go in with the leave-in cream, which is a coconut oil and babble oil hydrating and strengthening leave-in cream. It's supposed to provide intense moisture and help repair helps repair natural coils. Um, so yeah, I'm going to apply this to my hair. I couldn't find, I would have got their oil, but where I got these from, I guess the oil just wasn't there. And so I don't have the oil, but because I am um, applying my leaf in conditioners and then like kind of letting my hair kind of air dry a little bit before I actually go in and style it. I find that it is nice to uh, seal my hair with oil just so that I don't lose this leave-in product that I just applied to my hair. But since I couldn't find the oil, I didn't get their oil, so I'm just going to use the oils that I do have, which is fine because I need to be getting rid of products anyways. And I'm going to apply a generous amount of this product on my hair. Okay, so it has nice slip for a leave-in. I'm just easily taking my Felicia Leatherwood brush through this huge section of my hair. So that is nice. And I'm, I'm getting a little curl definition. So the claim about that wasn't a lie. Then I'm just going to take some oil and just seal this leave-in in. And then I'm just going to flat twist. So going on, this product feels really nice. Um, I feel like I might be a little too heavy handed with this leave in. But we shall see. Hopefully it dries and then you don't see as much white stuff because right now, like I feel like I need more product, but when I go in with a little bit more product, I feel like I'm using too much product, so I don't know. So I guess if I end up using too much product and it flakes, that might be the reason why then next time I use this product, I will just be a little less heavy handed. But I don't think it's gonna flake. I've seen some reviews on this product and it didn't flake, so not really too worried about that. This bottle says, this deep penetrating leave-in conditioner cream uses and nourishes a nourishing blend of coconut oil and Bible oil to bioba, bioba, probably butchering that. And I'm sure somebody is going to correct me in the comments because that's what you guys like to do best. To import lasting moisture while helping to protect against breakage leaving coils and curls manageable. So the coconut oil is supposed to deeply condition, hydrate, and help repair. And the Viboa oil restores and helps strengthen damaged hair, locks in moisture. This product does not contain parabens, mineral oils, sulfates, or petroleum. Apply a generous amount. Oh, so I could be heavy-handed with this product. 
apply a generous amount in hands, rub together, smooth product into dry and or damp hair from loose to end. Do not rinse, style as desired. Use a daily moisturizer or a layering with styling product. So the first few ingredients are water, shea butter, glycerin is the third ingredient, uh, grapeseed oil, and coconut oil. So since glycerin is the third ingredient, we shall see how this works with my hair because my hair does not dislike glycerin. My hair will stay moisturized, but I will lose definition like within day two, day three. So I'm just going in with that curling cream like I mentioned earlier. Now the curling cream is definitely a, a lighter consistency. I feel like it's more airy than the leave-in. I feel like it's definitely light. Um, it's thick, but once you get some in your hand, it doesn't feel like super thick and it easily smooths through your hair. And I am getting really good curl definition just with this product. So I'm using my Demon brush just because my Felicia Leatherwood brush is dirty and I don't feel like cleaning it and this brush is clean. But look at the curl definition I get once I just rake that uh, Demon brush through my hair. So I'm actually really excited that I am trying this on flat twist, even though I feel like it will be kind of unfair to this product because you know flat twist flake flat twist flakes flat twist causes frizz like sometimes just no matter how gentle you unravel them they just frizz and sometimes that can be annoying but I'm really liking the definition that I'm getting as I apply this product to my hair and it's just like easily coiling around my fingers I'm definitely going to try this product on a wash and go because of the curl definition that I am getting. But right now, so far, I'm really liking both of these products. But I have to say I'm liking this curling cream more than the leave-in. Let's see, I'm just getting really, really good definition. And even with the back part of my hair, I was getting great definition. And that is a tighter curl pattern than the front part of my hair. But I was still getting really, really good definition. I'm just easily just detangling my hair. These products have a ton of slip which is a shea butter and flaxseed based curling cream and it's supposed to shape hydrate and add shine to her natural coils and curls um what does it say is this versatile curling cream behind shape blends it says this versatile curling cream blends shea butter and flaxseed oil to provide deep moisture lasting definition and radiant shine leaving coils and curly styles smooth and bouncy with a soft hold the shea butter deeply moisturizes, helps strengthens and protects, and the flaxseed oil provides natural hold and restores shine. Section hair, apply small amount and hands rub together, work product into a dry or damp hair. Do not rinse out, style as desired. Perfect for twist out, braid out, spring cords, raw set, and wash and goes. Um, I was pretty heavy handed going in with this product again, and I didn't get any flakes. So once my hair completely air dried, I just unraveled them. And this is what my hair looks like, which I have to say is really good. This is a flat twist. Flat twist is known to create frizz. I did get a little frizz right here in this area. I feel like that is mainly my fault. I should have split my hair in two parts for those little two pieces that I have right there just because it was really long. And I feel like the longer row of flat twists I have the more likely frizz will happen but over that it's not that bad the definition that I got is really good my hair feels really really good it feels moisturized I can feel that shine it doesn't have like a shine with like that like coating feeling or anything on your hands so overall I'm not mad I really like this product I can definitely see myself using it again and I'm very very curious to compare this product with the cream of nature hydrating milk that I posted not too long ago because I feel like price wise they're very head on with each other but they remind me of each other so I really want to compare them to see 
which one is rather should you just probably get the African pride because you know you get more bang for your buck so let me know if you want me to do a comparison video of these two product of those two brands the cream of nature and this African pride styling product we'll link the video so you guys can check that out so you see what I'm talking about and yeah but I'm not mad I really like these products I do definitely think that they are worth it they're really good affordable products and I feel like some of these these two products definitely feel and did better than some of my expensive products so I have no complaints I really enjoyed these products I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did make sure to thumbs it up and I will see you guys in my next video Bye. so you really made it to the end of the video you the real MVP but because you made it to the end of the video I know you like my content so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other uploads also, make sure you check out these other two videos that I posted on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.